the referee Michael de Aguilar checks both goalkeepers and his watch oh he's dragging this out building up his part the referee come on and here we go we are underway and Telford kick off playing from left to right in white shirts black shorts black socks against that lurid yellowy green of Gainsborough Trinity defending the goal to our right and it's immediately out for a throw in he's got to get used to the physicality of senior football but he's won his team a corner yeah and some early pressure from Telford and that's good what they would give for an early goal in this game today as well they've struggled at times when they've gone behind to get back into matches so it would be nice if they could score first for the first time this season and it will be Reed to take the corner right footed out swinger plenty of players crowding the goalkeeper but it comes in deep it's a poor delivery and Clancy will have to try and pick up the pieces but he's beaten to it by Bignall the centre forward and he draws the foul just looking at the number 11 Jamie Yates the numbers are so close together it looks like a number <laughs> one that's really unhelpful but Gainsborough bring it forward and the flag has stayed down and it's Jarman with an early chance and he's put Gainsborough ahead disastrous start for Telford they were opened up so so easily through ball from the middle of their own half and Jarman just strolled through right footed slotted into the corner Gainsborough won Telford nil yeah, well, the one player that you don't want to be left in that kind of position is Nathan Jarman. We talked him up before the game and talked about how clinical he is, the fact that Telford fans know how capable he is in front of goal, and you just knew as soon as he got into that position he was going to score more poor defending from Telford, which is becoming a, a major headache for them. Get anything, anything from this game now, and it's forward to Bignall again, trying to make things worse, takes the shot on from a long way out. Demon was covering, and it's down the road but it's Gainsborough coming forward again. And it's out to the left-hand side for Yates. Crossing opportunity, works it back onto his right foot. It was whipped in, in swinging, and the goalkeeper Montgomery claims quite easily. And it's in midfield now. Glover will try and get it down and hold it up. He can't, but Bakayoko can, and Reed has it right-hand side now. Again, first thing he wants to do is run at the full-back and get to the byline. Checks and goes back to Brazil, who crosses from deep. It is very deep, and it's Anderson who can't quite control it. And they've got plenty to aim at in there. Both Jarman and Bignall are big. Quinn and Picton have come forward as well from the back. And in it comes towards the near post. And it's beaten everybody. It's bobbling round in there now. Telford can't get it away. They do so at the third time of asking through Brazil. And here's Reed trying to run it out of trouble. He goes back to his fullback, Brazil. And they're going to have to go long eventually, you would think, Telford, because they're running down blind alleys, and they do, with Reed, who plays it into the channel, and Bakayoko, he's got some pace, will chase it. Well, Shyland has played for Doncaster and Hartlepool, but dropped into the non-league game a few years ago, and has made the games for a number one shirt his own. As Bignall turns on the edge of the penalty area, the shot is blocked, looked like it might have been creeping in. Half-time against Haverford West. The New Saints, of course, looking to win yet another Welsh Premier League title. They are the biggest club in Wales by a long, long way. Bakayoko, edge of the penalty area, looking for room to shoot, finds it, left-footed over the bar, but the fans applaud the effort. Rare these days, of course. And uh, Jarman, the goal scorer, has it left-hand side. He's trying to cut inside now and take on Brazil. Gets to the byline, puts a decent ball in. It's half cleared at the near post by Ray, but Telford can't quite clear their lines fully and Gainsborough work it right. They're stretching the play and using the full width pretty well but the ball forward towards Bignall as a clear goal scoring opportunity and when Telford get one if they get one they've got to make sure they take it half an hour in on BBC Shropshire Telford yet to test Jan Butts in the Gainsborough goal and they're one nil down and Delaria goes in against the debutante Fletcher and the ball is played through to Bignall he's clear in on goal and that's 2-0 left footed this time the other side of Montgomery both strikers have a goal they're very very similar Telford opened up with a simple long through ball across the ground and where Jarman went right footy to the goalkeeper's right Bignall goes left footy to the goalkeeper's left and it's all too easy Telford who haven't scored in open play yet this season a 2-0 down. Oh, it's just a horrific goal to concede again. They haven't learned again because it was so eerily similar, wasn't it, to that first goal that Telford conceded early on. One simple through ball dissected or bisected the two centre halves who were arguing amongst themselves. Presumably will push on and play up front alongside Danny Glover. In fact, both of them in combination here. Yeah, and here's Reed. Chance. Oh, he's put it wide. It came from absolutely nowhere. Simple long ball forward, headed down. But if Steve Kittrick was going to go 
4-4-2. And I don't think he has quite. I think it's still that 4-4-1-1. Glover is playing a little bit deeper than Anderson. As there's an altercation on the edge of the Telford penalty area. The fans aren't happy. They're saying that Charman is it went in pretty hard on Demon. Did you see that? Well, I didn't see it a long way from it, but you wouldn't be surprised if there's a red card. It is, it's red. Oh, he's gone. Well, the referee is signalling an elbow. Yeah, I think it is Nathan Jarman who's wandering off towards the tunnel. And he's got a bit of history, Nathan Jarman, I have to say. He's been <laughs> noted in the past for somebody who does like to get uh, a bit of a, a wind-up merchant, a bit of a pantomime villain, whatever you want to call him. Picton. It's back with Brazil. Glover. We need to see more from him in the second half. He's played a lot with his back to goal, not too much facing it. Reed, right hand side, crosses the ball in. Clancy had made a long, long run forward from left back. It was a dangerous run, really well timed, and it's flicked off his boot. But they've got it with Clancy on the left hand side. It's into Fletcher in the centre circle. And he trots forward with it, not quite at a sprint, but at a jog. Lovely ball into the channel for Reed. And finally, Butts has a save, but it's easy. Two and a half, three minutes now, and a wretched first half for Telford Con. And soon enough, you feel. Welcome to listeners on FM for the final stages of this game, and that, in fact, of this first half, sorry, and that, in fact, is the half-time whistle. And Telford are in a familiar position, losing. Just looking down there, team, and, and spine is the key word. Adam Quinn, huge, big defender. Jonathan Delaria, big lad, 150 games for Mansfield in the Football League. Nicholas Bignall, yeah, corner flag. Cayman Anderson comes short and it's back now with Brownhill the substitute came on after half an hour Anderson gets to the byline crosses the ball in it's a goal kick he wanted a corner it down the left hand side Anderson working the channels again looking to run at the fullback and crosses towards the far post there's no Telford player attacking it Reed stood off it pieces when you have them because Telford on corners alone are miles ahead of Gainsborough in this game and unfortunately it's not corners that count yeah they've had territory in possession as Brownhill Makes a run into the penalty area, he's done really well, shoots at the near post, decent save by Butts. First real sight of goal, perhaps he could have gone across goal. He yeah, it was, it was that bit of spark that Telford need as Reed with the corner. It's bouncing around like pinball in there, Gainsborough struggling to clear it, will it fall for Demon? It won't. Players out there because there are a number of youngsters, here's one. Yeah, and Anderson's gone down over on that far side, ball into the channels and he's clipped adjacent with the byline and this is a decent opportunity for Telford is it a free kick it is yeah it's been given and uh, the referee almost as good as a corner maybe even better it's just a little bit out giving a better angle you might expect Telford to crowd the goalkeeper butts and it comes in towards the near post Fletcher flicks it on but it's cleared at the far and Reed can't get the ball back Clancy has it nice flick back inside towards Ray and they're trying to work it through the middle with Anderson trying to create something out of nothing will he find room for the shot he will but it's scuffed just wide and again decent football at times the end product it's all about that end product Telford at times look a nice footballing outfit way but they're struggling to cope with Bignall's pace on the counter-attack need to throw men forward though and Clancy out muscles the fullback Dominic Roma but then he beats himself and the impetus goes out of the move he digs the cross in Glover miss hits it, came and Anderson is deflected and Butts falls on it. He's got Gorman in front of him. He's going to run at Lacey and beats him. Has he taken it too far? The good defender gets back after the heavy touch. So he's getting plenty of praise for his manager and, and pays him back there as Anderson spreads the play wide to Reed. And here's Gorman looking for space to shoot. He finds it, but again, it's the sort of shot. It's, it is odd. It is odd, and I think you, you, you definitely need to see him in those attacking areas. Here he is with the corner. Corner, out swinger, it's a poor one, but it's beaten everybody. Missed kick at the near post. So much possession, so much territory, so little end product. As Brownhill shoots from distance, it's not a bad effort. He took it on himself and it's curled just wide, but, but here's Fletcher, who's grown into the game as it's gone on. That's a good ball into the channel for Gorman. Cross comes in, it's Glover. Oh, that's a really good save from Butts. Best move of the game from Telford, good effort. Fingertip save from Butts, and we've had to wait until the 86th minute, but Telford have forced a good save from the goalkeeper. Anderson, edge of the box, it comes through to Fletcher. He's the victim of onrushing challenges from three games, remember, he's kept it alive with Ray, who this time also 
is blocked off. Must be close to double figures in corners, have created very little. Reed throws it in again, again, headed away, punched away by Butts. They can't complete the clearance, though. And Telford still keep it alive in the penalty area, but there are so many bodies in there, there's no space. Away by Quinn this time at the near post. He's fine as Brownhill brings it forward from the left-back position. And here's Gorman. Will he find a shooting chance? He's being driven left, but he does get the ball in and it's just wide. They've taken a nick off the defender as well on the way through, and it's another Telford corner. Yep, and they still drop it right under the post, and Jan Butts takes it. First goal of the season from open play, which they are so, so desperate for. Thoughts with Steve Kitterick on the verdict after this game. 01743 248 32 way. Just waiting for full time, really, even the Telford players now, Steve. Yeah, extraordinary. Nearly five minutes of added time, but there goes the final whistle. And well, you can hear what the fans make of that, Mark. Yeah, and they've stuck with their team, in fairness to the fans, throughout what has been a pretty poor performance. But on the final whistle, the boos ring out around the Hebrews.